Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Monster Train. Welcome back to Front End. Welcome back to Swell. Uh, I mentioned because I'm at 24, and look at all the effects on me. Uh, and I'm about to win. Look at that. Look at that. Cleaning house. Starting off with a really big uh, victory here. Because I think that's all of them. Um, I mentioned I might come back to Monster Train, and I, and I did. Um, I did Tower of Guns, and I did, uh, Loop Hero. Uh, but Monster Train was, uh, re uh, relatively popular. This game's crashing now. Uh, Monster Train was relatively popular, and it was... Uh, and it was a lot of fun. It was a really good game. So, oh, Seraph just gets a thousand more hit points. So with this one, I took 20, I took so much damage. Oh wow, look at that. Is that all of them? Or no, I guess I have to win at 25. So yeah, you can see that I love the Umbra. I'm missing one card out of them, and then the Awoken, I'm missing one card out. So yeah, I took 11 damage here, six damage here, four damage here, a huge amount of damage here. Uh, another big 18 damage here, 50 damage, and then 30 damage. Uh, and I just, dude, it was so, so one thing that really came in clutch was I got this thing and this thing. Both of these hold people off from getting to the pyre room just a little longer. And then I maxed out Penumbra's Gorge, so Penumbra would get 15 attack and 6 health every time he gorged. Now, there is a way to make that even better, uh, which I didn't get, but you basically, it's a thing that doubles any gorge. Uh, and then I had this and this, both of which gave me more stuff, more, um, more juice, ember, whatever the little flame is called, energy. So then I got this thing, right? Which just doubles whatever I have in my pocket. So, you know, I would be getting plus two from the Ember Forge, and then I would be getting plus however many from this one. And then I would double it. So at one point, I think I literally doubled like six, and I got 12. And then you use this thing, which doubles your feed. <laughs> um, so then I ate 24 of the same morsel. That was a really, really good, that was a really good play. Super rare, very, very difficult to get, but it was very, very powerful um, because it meant that I ate 24 times. And then what's more, because I had Gorge up, that meant that I, I ate a, uh, one of the ones that gives you six health. So that means that I got uh, six health 24 times for eating every single for eating every single guy. And then I got another six health and 15 attack every single guy. And then I just used this thing to put trample on so the attack would go through one guy and right into the next. Um, I was walking with this one for a bit, but the problem is you need to get a chip. You, like, you need to get one. Because that thing's power to be eaten is okay. Uh, that thing's power to be eaten is okay, but it's sometimes just so difficult. So currently, now, we have 25 things. Like enemies are stronger. We have more fluff cards in our deck. Uh... We have dead weight in our deck. Big battles now have more enemies. Minor bosses have more attack and additional enemies. We get more fluff in our deck again. Some basic enemies have more attack. More fluff in the deck. The pyre takes 20 damage at the start of the run. Ember Drain 1 to the first friendly unit played at the top floor each turn. So anytime I put someone up here, they just...
So anytime I put somebody up there, they just lose out on, on stuff. Uh, they take away one ember from me, you know? Luckily, we can work around that. I got pretty lucky at the start here by just having so much juice to be getting on with. And you? I need more help in this game. Problematic there, but that's okay. Hmm. See, by dumping my guys out so early. I didn't actually even lose anything. So. so that was pretty good. I need to get this to move guys around. <sighs> Money. Yeah. And then we can upgrade these. If this can just protect the guy from green, that'd be good. And then I can turn. That's fine. And I don't really want to go. So yeah, um, where were we? We take 20 damage at the start, we get Ember Drain. Merchant reroll costs 20% more, so we can't just keep buying stuff from the merchant over and over again. Uh, major bosses have more health, more fluff in the deck. Minor bosses have increased health, more fluff in the deck. Merchant purging is 20% more. Dead weight to the starting deck, so that's more fluff cards that do absolutely nothing. Instead of just, here's more of the same that are whatever. Um, merchant, uh, everything from the merchant costs 20% more. Some basic enemies have more attack. Minus one middle floor. Major bosses have increased health. Minor bosses have increased health. Again, by the way. that or They already did it, but we're doing it again. Uh, heavy enemy units have increased health. The pyre takes another 20 damage at the start, and Seraph has plus 1,000 health. So you can see that we, start the, we started at half health. So I learned that you can totally do this. This is so cheating, but you know, in a game that is so RPG, RPG uh, RNG dependent, you can reset. So now we've just reset from here. There we go. Now those guys are dead. So we're never going to tunnel all the way back to him, but this is fun. We add attack to him and re reduce his health, but he didn't have any health, so he's dead now. <laughs> uh, live hacks. This close to being able to just tuck through everything. are not a problem because they don't have an attack, so the pirate can just wipe them out basically for free. Uh. Alright, cool. There's no point in putting these down because he won't eat them before we get a chance, so we just have to start the attack. Oops. 
Okay. I don't like using um, cards that increase the, the juice in the room. Just because, like, I would rather just have, like, and that, why not? I would rather just have the ability to um, have a bigger room. Both of these are weird. I'm going to take this one. So yeah, um, I've hit like 80 hours on this game, I think. Let me just double check that. 71. Okay, not 80, but I've hit a great deal of hours on this game because I really do enjoy it. I'm going to turn that audio down a little more. Um, I hate fighting Talos. This is a slightly better Talos than the Okay. Wait, does that take up the... Yep, it sure does. Hmm. Just hold on. Yeah, sometimes it can be so problematic because, like... Now we have, you know, this whole floor that's just taken up by just this one thing. And we're supposed to be able to put more buffs on him, but we're not really going to be able to now. But we could also just reset. What is the damage? 40. Like that. Like that. Okay. Well, that's not perfect. That's this way we can at least get some more help for the man. Hmm. Yeah, go ahead and kill that for me, huh? And then this will make sure that uh, he holds that health more. I just, I love having the... Um, Sorry, I'm trying to think, but nothing's happening. Uh, I love having the uh, uh, orge up so much, but like it's just so difficult to ensure that I'll always have it, you know? All right. More health for you. That's the other thing. One thing I do actually enjoy about this uh, to a pretty good extent. I do feel like I get a lot of pretty good, uh... Hmm. You and you. Yeah. Put some life skin. And then because that's technically the second one, I don't need to worry about that. Uh -huh. Okay, so that he is going to eat that. We're going to lose some health. Okay, we're trading, we're trading. Physically, just can't get enough guys in. Alright. 
I have a dumb plan. The thing is, is that what's her name, Sarah? Right, I don't have my thing. Man, she only had two hit points left. See, so yeah, that's the thing. Like, at some point, you're gonna just start like cutting your losses because, like, whatever. Because you just kind of need to have a really, really good plan, you know? Give me life too. You need to have such a solid game plan. And, like, sometimes you just don't get the cards to support that. And that's unfortunate, but, like, what could you do? Poss what could you possibly have done? I hate fighting these dudes when I don't have, like, a... I'm certain that there's a word here I'm looking for. I hate fighting these dudes when I don't have, like, trample. Because sometimes you get trample and it's like, okay, you got trample, nothing matters. Just put the big guy on the top floor and let him work. Alright. That'll kill both of them. Let's get somebody on the bottom floor. Slow them down a bit. Okay. We can work on who's gonna kill who. Uh, hmm. That's unfortunate. One, two, three, four. We need to put it. We need to put it all on him because he just needs to. That's fine. That's only a little bit. We lost three. That's fine. I need to get rid of you. Oh, actually, it's not that big of a worry. All right, great. We lost six, still making a positive. This one's really interesting. So I found this, yeah, see, if you have something like this and you can just drop, like, drop that on the top row, and then you can have Mark of Invasion up and it doesn't matter. So, hmm. <laughs> I've really begun to like experiment with uh, holdover. So holdover is the is the sp spell modification that means whenever you cast something, the game automatically says, "Okay, you, we like that. Cast that again next turn." Get out of here. Um, so, something that you can do, this thing gives you more, like, not MP, it gives you more, more stuff. It gives you Ember, right? But it also gives Ember Drain to a track. Now, that could be a problem, because you don't have Ember now. Uh, because you're constantly piling up Ember Drain on a guy. Okay, this one was pretty short, so I might just be able to finish it out here. Yeah, look at that. Easy money. Dead simple. Really, really, uh, softballing me here after the last one, because, jeez. This one's good just because of three.